live from Orlando, Florida, it's theCUBE. Covering Grace Hopper's Celebration of Women in Computing. Brought to you by SiliconANGLE Media. Welcome back to theCUBE's coverage of the Grace Hopper Conference here in Orlando, Florida. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight. We're joined now by Anjali Menon. She is the VP of Technology at Morgan Stanley. Thanks so much for coming on the show. My pleasure to be here. So I'd love to just to tell our viewers a little bit about your journey mm -hmm. as, a, as a woman in technology yes. who now works at an investment bank. Yes, absolutely. Um, I think it's a very long journey, if you will. It started when I was seven years old. Um, back, in, back in my school, we had a, an, an extracurricular computer science course. So I signed up for it, and I remember starting out as um, you know, someone who was coding in basic. And you know, it was just very simple things. You draw a line, draw a kite, watch it move across the screen. It was just so exciting for someone at that age. Um, so you know, I kept at it. Um, I continued to enroll in the same course over the years, so middle school, high school. And then I did my undergraduate in computer science and engineering. And then in 2011, I graduated from NYU with a master's in computer science. And you know, Morgan Stanley was one of those companies that had showed up during on-campus recruitment. And just the, 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 the feedback that I had heard from my other peers who were already in the company, just you know, about the, the work culture at Morgan Stanley, it was, it was just really, really good. So you know, I joined Morgan Stanley and right now I'm um, you know, a systems owner. Uh, I own the equities and options order entry application. So I'm responsible for you know, the overall design and development. Uh, so it's been a really exciting journey to uh, you know, Morgan Stanley, yep. So, so you, as, as a woman in technology and now working in finance, yeah. I mean, these are two very male-dominated industries mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that are come together to provide your job. So, yeah, yeah. How, what is it like to be a woman on the front lines? So, you know, it's, it's interesting. I feel like a lot of people have, uh, you know, misconceptions about that, you know, about being a woman in tech, right? Um, but we have a very diverse and inclusive culture at Morgan Stanley. Um, like I mentioned, I am a systems owner for the equities and options order entry application. So, you know, when I'm sitting at a table with senior managers, because I'm the subject matter expertise uh, expert, it's, it's, it's great to, you know, look at them, you know, sit and listen to me talk because, you know, I'm the one who's, you know, bringing in the information. So it doesn't really matter if you're a woman or a man. What matters is, are you the one with the expertise? Are you the one with the talent, right? Uh, and they're going to sit up and listen to you, irrespective of your gender. So, um, you know, that's just the, the culture of Morgan Stanley. So, uh, yeah. So now talking about the culture, and you mm -hmm. are here, obviously, trying to recruit bright young talent yes, at the yes. Grace Hopper Conference. Mm -hmm. What are you hearing from potential employees? What are they looking for in a company? Uh, what are we looking for in students? Well, or? I'm, I'm interested in both what Morgan Stanley wants to see out of mm -hmm. prospective candidates, yeah. but also what you're hearing from the recruits themselves in terms of how they want their job to fit into their lives. Absolutely, uh, a lot of a lot of uh, one of the recurring questions that I do get when I'm interviewing students is, you know, how do you maintain the whole like work like work life balance? Like you said, you know, finance and tech, it, it, tech, it's a very grueling industry, right? So how do you keep that balance? Um, and 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 what's really wonderful is that. You know, it's, you don't have to sacrifice your personal life or your passion projects for your work. Uh, me personally, um, you know, uh, me personally, um, for the last year I've been taking a lot of uh, extracurricular courses, uh, non-credit courses at NYU in filmmaking and photography uh, because that's just my passion project. I love telling stories and I used to be a writer and you know, I was just looking to explore other mediums for telling stories. Um, so in the last year, since the summer of 2016, I've been taking courses at NYU, and it's just been such a great experience. Then, and, and it's just that I think I think Morgan Stanley sort of allows you to have that culture, right? You you have your nine to five job, right? And during those hours, you're very focused on what you're doing, but you know they do give you time outside of that to just like work on your passion projects, and, and it's great that I can find that balance between the two. So Morgan Stanley could be a choice employee employer for a young woman looking for. Oh yeah, absolutely, balance. absolutely. And now what are you looking for in a potential recruit? What are you telling the young women here at Grace Hopper? We are looking for women who are bright and, and very confident. I, 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 I feel like all of the, the, the interviews that I've done in, in the last few days, I've, I've met such wonderful young women. And it's, it's really difficult to choose because 
everyone has their own area of expertise and, and you can tell they're very, very intelligent. They love challenges, right? Uh, a lot of the questions that I ask are typically around like problem solving and, and, and puzzles. And it's great to see how they can approach it and deconstruct it. So it's, it's, it's been really difficult trying to find, uh, it's been really difficult trying to choose one over the other because everyone's just so equally bright, yeah. So how are you how are you going about this recruitment process? Yeah. What are, how are you how are you assembling a diverse team? So we've been doing a lot of uh, on the spot uh, quizzes. So like once a day, we have uh, two problems that are presented. We have students stopping by and they're working it out. We're helping them through the process of you know figuring out the solution. And you know anyone who stands out, we're pulling them aside, scheduling interviews with them. Uh, we're we're actually also making offers on the spot as oh, well. Wow. So okay. it, that's 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 been a new experience. So. Uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's been good. We have a lot of uh, interviews already scheduled as well, so yeah. So when you're, when, in terms of your job, what are the things you're most excited about that mm -hmm. you're working on in terms of the real technical challenges that you're, you're Absolutely. facing? Absolutely, so I work within the capital market space and wealth management. Uh, our clients are financial advisors, right? So my job when I came in three or four years ago was I wanted to enhance the, uh, the order entry experience for the equities and options product. And essentially what we were looking to do was you know, enable the FAs with a tool that would, be able, that would enable them to do their jobs efficiently and quickly. Um, so over the last couple of years, we've been building an equities trading platform that would enable them to do just that. Uh, and it's just really exciting to see you know, what the legacy system did and what the new system does and, and the progress that we've made. And you know, we just hear really good feedback from the field as well, like uh, our clients, the FAs, the financial advisors who are using the new system. It's, it's great to hear things like, oh, I, I love that I can do, do my job so quickly. It's just like one or two clicks and I can do so much more than the legacy system. So, it's, so, it's what, really so what is the difference there? I mean, what are you enabling to happen so much more speedily than, than happened in the legacy system? So our legacy system was a single order entry application, while the new system allows them to submit multiple orders across securities, across accounts, in, the sing, in, in, a single, uh, in a single operation. So what would have taken them you know, minutes uh, to submit, say, 10 orders, now just takes a few seconds. So it's, it's just a faster enhanced uh, order entry experience, and I love that I was part of that that journey. Yeah. So, so speed is one thing. Mm -hmm. What are some other priorities that you have going forward in terms of enhancing the products that you provide to financial advisors? Just be able to efficiently, uh, you know, submit orders as well. So, with respect to, uh, you know, just you know, submitting like multiple orders, going across securities, or even like quickly creating tickets. Um, with the legacy system, it was a lot of like form filling. You start, you enter the account, you enter the, the, the security, and you fill out all of the other details. But we've enabled them with quick ways to create tickets. So in just a few keystrokes with like semantic based entries, they can create like multiple tickets and you know, submit the order. So just being able to efficiently do their job as well was one of the, the key things that we were looking to deliver. Yeah. And are you focused at all on the Use the sort of the design user experience mm -hmm. element too. So we do have a dedicated user experience team, but since I started off as a front end developer, um, I did work very closely with them to help like build out that interface. So uh, yeah, well we do have a dedicated team. It was great to actually work with them to help build that out. Yep. Great. And finally, I'm just curious about your thoughts about this Grace Hopper conference. Uh, this is, is, is this your first time? It's my first time at Grace Hopper. A newbie it's, here. It's, it's been overwhelming. I remember walking in yesterday and I could see a sea of people and it's been, it's been, it's been wonderful. Yeah. Great, great. So we'll see you here next year. Absolutely. Excellent, yeah. great. Thank well, you. Anjali, thank you so much. It's been a pleasure no, talking you. to you, thank having you. you on the show. Thank you. I'm Rebecca Knight. We will have more from the Grace Hopper Conference in just a little bit. Oh,